Kikari, aren't you a little too close? Look at yourself! Why don't you get off him? Are you challenging me? Bring it on! Don't regret saying that! Oh god, could you girls calm down? Somehow, these beautiful delinquent twins are after me. It all goes back to a couple of days ago. I'm Kent Honda, a sophomore in high school. It all happened in a park on my way home from school. I told you it wasn't me! Liar! Who else would do it besides you? Someone's quarreling. I don't want to get involved, so I'll sneak past them. I've had enough. I'm not letting you off today. Those are my lines. You better prepare yourself. What's going on? Are they gonna fight in broad daylight? The kids are watching. Can't let them watch this. Ugh, I guess I just have to stop them. All right, that's enough. Huh? Uh, who are you? How did you stop my punch so easily? It's not my business, but just look around. Huh? Oh. They're afraid. It's because of us. Hi there. We're not really scary. We were just practicing for our show. Is that true? Look, we're actually this close. See? They're putting masks on. <laughs> we almost got tricked. These two are good at heart. They're kind to children. Hey, you. Huh? Me? Thanks for stopping us. We get blind when things begin to get hot. Don't say we. It's just you. Huh? Did a boar just say something? Did you just call me a boar? How can you mistake a charming girl like me for a boar? It's just like you. Like the way they're cute only when they're small. Roar! Who are these delinquents? They look so identical. So I guess they're twins. They're like cats and dogs. Well, as no one is around now, I'll leave them by themselves and go home. Wait! You! W what do you want with me? Who are you? Huh? We're famous as the strongest twins in town, and there was nobody like you who could take our fists so easily. That's right. Plus, you even had the time to look around. There's something special about you. Things are starting to go in a weird direction. I I'm just an ordinary guy who learned online karate. That sounds fishy. But I wouldn't mind if it was him. But I was the one who called him first. Jeez, this isn't about first come, first serve. Hey, what are you guys talking about? As a matter of fact, we come from a delinquent family. And we take on any fights anyone picks with us. Our family motto is, to seek revenge till you win. I can't believe there is such a family. But there's another family motto, and that is... To marry someone stronger than yourself and to leave strong offsprings. You're just following the instincts of humans. So, like we said... You are the perfect man for us! Your looks are good. You're kind to children. And most, most of all, you're, you're stronger, stronger than, than us. us! Please, Please be, be my, my boyfriend! boyfriend! Wait, wait, I can't keep up with the situation. I said please. Come to our house now. No way! I'm sure your dad looks like Baki. Please! If we let you go now, we'd never be able to find someone as good as you! Boys who are stronger than us are super special rare! Don't treat me like some character from some social network game. I think I've got to run. He's loose! Hey! Don't go away! Wait, I think we can let him go. What do you mean? That uniform he's wearing? It's from Romcom High School. I see. We can see him again. I can't wait! Yesterday was a terrible day. Thank goodness I'd never see those twins again. Uh, we'll be having a transfer student today. Woo, a girl! What if she's a cutie? <laughs> Dream on. I just hope the new student won't do me any harm. Come on in, you two. Two? Hi, I'm Mary Toyota. Nice meeting you all. I'm Hikari Toyota. 
Looking forward to getting to know you all. Ooh, look at them. Beautiful twins, and they're hot. But, but wait, don't they look a little, like, delinquents? No way. I'm not gonna believe what I see. I found him! We're classmates! Wow! This is destiny! You must be talking about another person. Hey, Toyotas, are you already familiar with Honda? He's the man of our destiny. Our fingers are connected with fate of red strings. Huh? Are you Hondas already? Is Honda dating both of them at once? Doesn't he have any sense of ethics? What are his glasses for? Couldn't be worse. Everyone's looking at me. I've got to talk to them directly. At lunchtime, I dragged the Toyota sisters to the school rooftop. I have something to tell you. Something to tell us? You're making my heart beat. Kent, why don't we leave Mary alone and go somewhere we can be together? You're trying to get ahead of me again. Go hide in the incinerator if you're looking for somewhere quiet. Bring it on! You want to fight me? Enough. Stop it there. That's not what I wanted to say. Look, I want to live quietly and peacefully. I don't want you guys to come after me and make a fuss. Are we bothering you? To be blunt, yes. I'm sorry. These girls are nice and kind at heart. Maybe I should at least tell them why. It's not that I hate you guys. Huh? To tell you the truth, I was a delinquent myself in junior high. I thought you were no ordinary guy. That's why you're strong. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm over it and living quietly now. What happened to you? Back then, I accepted all challenges against me. If I won, my reputation rose and delinquents from other cities came after me. I enjoyed this negative spiral. But I had put a lot of burden and worry on mom. She fell down one day and that's when I realized I was taking the wrong path. After that, I quit being a delinquent. Mom's better now, but I vowed that I'd never fight again. I chose this school where nobody could recognize me and disguised myself into a plain, dull guy. That's why I don't want to stand out anymore. Hey, what made you cry? Because I never imagined you went through all that. <laughs> I promise from now on, I'll never make you stand out again. Me too. So... I'll, I'll come, come after, after you when, when no one's around. Do you really get what I said? Hmm, but they've got a point. I don't want anything to do with their parents, but these girls are kind at heart. If you care about what I just said, I wouldn't mind being friends. Do you really mean it? Why don't we just push them down together? You're right. Let's just do it to him and then... I told you to care. So my busy days with the Toyota sisters began. When I'm with them, something concerns me. Hikari, aren't you a little too close? Look at yourself. Why don't you get off him? The girls are on very bad terms. To be more accurate, they're like rivals when it comes to love. Hikari, you're getting ahead of yourself. Talk about yourself. Can't you see Kent is annoyed with you? All right, stop. Don't fight, okay? You guys aren't really on bad terms, are you? Well, yeah. What makes you say that? It just concerns me. Why do you heat up when you're fighting over me? The atmosphere suddenly turns bad. Kent, can I talk to you for a minute? Are you trying to get ahead of me? I'm not. It's something serious. Mary's eyes looked determined as she said this. Thanks for taking time. Never mind. What is it? What do you think about my family motto? About marrying someone stronger than you. Yeah. To be honest, it sounds kind of stupid. You think so too? Is that how you think so too? If there wasn't such a motto, I wouldn't have become a delinquent. As long as the rules exist, Hikari can't choose someone who she really loves. Huh? One strong offspring will do. 
Hikari doesn't have to sacrifice herself if I follow the rules and marry a strong guy. She can be free. So the reason you two always heat up is... So I can sacrifice myself for the family motto. I have to bear your child, even if it means to hurt Hikari. Bear my child? But don't get me wrong, I do love you. This feeling has nothing to do with family rules and stuff. But maybe it's different for Hikari. Because of the rules, she has no other choices except you right now. I want her to be free from family rules and choose someone whom she really loves. <laughs> That's not fair, Mary! Hikari, have you been listening this whole time? I have. <laughs> I... I didn't want you to hear that. I'm so grateful about your feelings. But I didn't expect you were doing the same thing as me. Huh? You mean you were doing this to free me from our house rules? That's right. But there's one thing you've mistaken. My feelings for Kent are true too. I love him. And it's not because of our house rules. Hey, that's unfair. First come, first serve basis. You said it wasn't earlier. I did not! It now seems like the twins were doing this for each other. I have nothing to worry about now. In the end, nothing changed. I wonder what will happen to me from now on. My name is Kent Honda. I'm what people would call a corporate slave. Ugh, yet again going home on the last train. And I'll have to catch the very first one again tomorrow morning. Why the hell can't you even do something as simple as this paperwork correctly? I'm sorry. Getting scolded by my boss every single day. All I'm good for is working. I wonder why am I even still alive? Leave me alone! Hmm? Come on, let's hang out all night. No way! We agreed on just eating together, that's all. I paid you 10,000 yen. Can't you do this for me? Isn't she a high school girl? Is this one of those sugar daddy things? I guess something went wrong. The last thing I want is getting involved in this. I'm just gonna ignore them. Big bro, this man is scaring me. Huh? Brother? What? Is he your relative? Uh, never mind. Goodbye! Hey, wait for a second. I'm not her. What the hell is going on? Thanks a lot. You saved me. Um, no need to thank me. By the way, are you interested in becoming a sugar daddy? You get to have lunch with a high school girl like me. What do you say? No way in hell would I be interested. Her name is Mary Toyota. For God's sake, I had to bring her here because there were no more trains. Mm, this is so delicious! And yet she's really enjoying that meal. Did she run away from home? Why were you even getting harassed by that old man? I mean, he was my sugar daddy. What? But this was the first time I did this. Your first time? But why? Um, I kind of didn't want to go home, and I had no money, so... To be honest, I don't want to talk about it. Sorry. Ugh. Listen, I'm gonna let you stay here tonight, but you are going home tomorrow. And you have to stop this, you'll just end up in trouble like today. Uh, I get that, but... Is there some reason why you don't want to go home? Not at all. I'm going home tomorrow. Sorry for bothering you. And thank you for letting me stay here. Well then, let's sleep. You can use the futon over there. Huh? What about you? I have some blankets, so I'll just sleep over here. I doubt you could sleep on the same bed with a man you barely know. What? That's not true. Da! You're gonna catch a cold, so there's no sleeping alone. Wait! I bothered you so much. I can't possibly also take all the food home for myself. So, if it doesn't bother you, let's sleep together. What did you say? I think it should be fine if we just sleep back to back with some space between us. I get it that sleeping on the floor is rough, but still, she's really clinging to me. What the hell is happening? 
Wait, this is going a bit too far. I'm sorry. I just felt a bit lonely. You remind me of my late dad. I did that unconsciously. Has her dad passed away? Is it just her and her mom? Um, what do you mean? Huh. She fell asleep. And I'll just leave it here for today. A few days have passed, but I'm home. Welcome home, Mr. Honda. Why is Mary in my place? I did tell her to go home the last time. I'm a runaway girl. I have nowhere to go. I'm 18, so I'm already an adult. But I wonder what would the cops think of this situation? They may get everything wrong and think you forced me to come here. And that's how I got deceived. And now we're here. Well, she does housework perfectly. Today's lunch is fried rice and omelette. No, oh, that's exactly what I wanted. She cooks breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, if anything, I'm grateful that she's here. But that doesn't change the fact that she's a student and probably has her mom worried sick. No matter how you look at it, we can't stay together for a long time. You are a fantastic cook. You should open a restaurant. My mom was always working, so I did everything at home. Oh, that's true. You did say your father passed away. Yeah. I'm sorry for bringing this up. Come on, let's start eating before this delicious stuff gets cold. Uh, yeah. Listen, I'm gonna tag along. So how about you go home? Your mom must be very worried about you. As if she cares more about my grades than myself. Mary, I have no clue what happened between Mary and her mother, but I've decided to let her stay here a little longer. And then, during that weekend... <laughs> it's been a while since we took a walk outside. Hey, don't hold on to me that much. Come on, it's fine. We're just going to buy clothes for me. You ran away from home. Are you really fine walking outside so nonchalantly? It's fine. All the neighbors think I'm your little sister. I even became friends with the old lady next door. She, she blended in before I knew it. Talk about some scary adaptability. Also, this is fun because it feels like we're on a date. Hey, don't tease me like that. <laughs> I was just kidding around. After that, we checked out some stores here and there. It's almost noon, so I'm gonna get some takoyaki. Okay, thanks. <sighs> Ever since I lived with Mr. Honda, my days became more exciting. Who could have thought spending every day with no schoolwork could be so much fun? I wish this could go on forever. Mary? Mary, is that you? Uh? Hmm, it's getting noisy where I left Mary. I'm not going home! Cut it out! You are being selfish. Do you think I'm simply gonna accept this? We're going home. Uh! Please, calm down. Could you listen to what Mary has to say? Mr. Hana! Who are you? I've been taking care of her these past few days. W what did you just say? You were aware that she ran away from home and was still sheltering her? That is eventually what happened. Mr. Hana! Mary! I said no! I do not want to go back to that life. I want to be with Mr. Honda. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I can't believe this. I'm getting the police involved right now. Be free to do so. But wouldn't that put you in trouble as well? Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about all the things you've done to Mary. Excessively forcing her to study against her will is problematic. That's not... She didn't tell me this. But just by looking at how she acts was enough. You took her freedom away and tied her up to her studies, didn't you? Is that how a mother should treat her daughter? I did that for her. Enough, Mom! Mary. Ever since Dad passed away, all I've been doing is studying. I didn't even have friends. The only things I was allowed to do were studying and housework. I've had enough of that life. I'll still study properly if you could just give me some freedom. I want to stay with Mr. Honda. I don't want to go home. How could you say that, Mary? I'll be looking after her for the time being. But... I'm a responsible adult. Rest assured that I'll just be looking after her. And then, Mary's mother left. That night, 
Mary told me the reasons why she ran away. Actually, I wanted to become a nursery teacher. When I was a kid, my parents would leave me at the nursery school, and the teachers comforted me. That's when I realized I wanted to follow the same path. But her mother didn't agree. A nursery teacher? Do you know how little they get paid? Of course you can't. You plan on leading a difficult life with a low salary like me? You are going to enroll in a first-rate university and then join a good company. This is for your own sake. And then we argued and I ran away. But no matter what, I want to become a nursery teacher. I do understand how your mother could be worried about you. Mr. Honda. But you are the one who should decide your future. Even your mother doesn't have the right to impose the future she wants on you. Mr. Honda, I have a favor to ask. What is it? Can you come with me to my house? Are you sure about that? I don't know, but I want to talk properly to my mom. It's thanks to you that I understood that. The next day, Mary took me to her home. I'm home. M Mary! Excuse the intrusion. You're the man from last time. I'm sorry that I've tagged along with her. Sorry, I didn't have the courage to come alone. Mary. And so, what's in your mind? I understand your point, Mom. Studying hard and getting a good job is very important. I get that. Mary. But still, I can't give up on my dream of becoming a nursery teacher. Shouldn't I? Please, let her freely choose for herself. I know that I'm just a stranger, but I support her dream. Mr. Honda, I always had a hard time at my job because I didn't have a good education. I just didn't want you to feel the same way. Um, but it seems like I was just being self-righteous. It's fine. You can do as you love. Mom! I'm really sorry for everything I did. So please, come back home. Yes, I'm sorry, Mom. It's okay. Everything is fine as long as you come back. I guess everything is settled now. We'll finally be able to live separately. But I do feel lonely knowing she'll leave. By the way, Mr. Honda, you are dating Mary, right? What? Uh, wait, is that how it goes? I mean, he's letting you stay at his place. And then there was that passionate hug. Because of you two, I ended up remembering my youthful days with their dad. Huh? That's not true. We're not dating. That's right. He was just taking care of me. Oh, is that so? You guys look deeply in love. We said that's not how it is. <laughs> Do you still want to live with him? But you guys have to keep the relationship pure until you graduate high school. Like I said, that's not it at all. Although Mary's mother misunderstood a lot of things, we settled the problem. And thus it was decided that Mary would go back home. The matching mug and toothbrush, and also the chopsticks and spoon. Ha! <laughs> this is all the stuff you bought at that 100 yen shop when you got carried away. But I doubt I'll use any of those again. Mary, it's not like we won't be able to meet again. Come to hang out whenever you feel like it. Mr. Honda, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye? Wait! You... Come on, it's fine. It's not like I did on your lips. That's not the problem. Or is it that you still see me as a child? And that's why you can't think of me that way? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? You let me stay here when I had no place to go. You protected me from my mom. It'll be weirder to not fall in love. That wasn't my intention when I took care of you. I get that. If you don't like it, then you could just turn me down. But if you like, I want us to get together after I graduate high school. For God's sake, what are we supposed to tell your mother? I think it'll be fine. Mom will probably approve of you. That's not what I'm talking about. I, too... Mr. Honda! I'll wait for you, forever. I'll wait until you graduate. So, can you stay in love with me until then? Yes, of course. I see. Thanks. Same goes for you. You better not get any girlfriend. After that, Mary successfully graduated from high school and was able to get into the Faculty of Social Welfare at the University of her choice. And of course, we also started dating. Hey, 
Hey, where should I put this? How the hell did you move here? Because it's closer to my university. And this way we can go out together. Eh, that's a bit... That wasn't the real reason. I'm your girlfriend, so there's nothing wrong if someone from your work sees us, right? Yeah, but this is a bit difficult to do. You kept complaining about how that company exploits you. How about you take this chance to quit? Who's got to put food on the table? I plan on financially contributing too, so I'm sure it'll be fine. No, I'm not quitting. Thinking about our future together, there's a lot we have to save for. Are you sure you're fine? Wouldn't that take a toll on your health? It's all about being motivated. Well, no. I would be the one in trouble then. And also... What? Aren't you too close? I still didn't get my kiss. Wait. Is this for real? Yeah. I want you to have my first kiss. Huh? This is your first time? Yeah. You're also the first person I fall in love with. Huh. I guess it can't be helped then. <laughs> we are finally like a true couple now. Come on, hurry up! I get it. Don't move. Yes. After we started dating, a lot of things happened and I'm still pretty confused. But I want to treasure Mary from now on. I'm gonna live happily. With her. Honda-kun, please. My name is Kent Honda, a first-year high school student with a dull character. Suddenly, I'm being pressured by Mary Toyota, an idol at the school. But, uh, I'm in trouble when you suddenly beg me like that. Please, there is only you, Kent. Who can be the manager of the women's baseball club? Yes, I'm being pressured to take over as the club manager. Why me? You should ask someone else. Because you often play baseball games on your smartphone. You like baseball, right? Well, uh, I like it. Hey, Mary and Kent. Oh, uh, what are you? Hi, what's wrong? Uh, I forgot my clothes and came to pick them up. What are you guys doing? I'm asking Kent to be the manager of the women's baseball club. Huh? <laughs> you want Kent to be the manager? What's with that reaction? Oh no, that's impossible. What can such a dull man do? After all, he is right. Lania, why did you say such a mean thing? Uh, if he's motivated, why don't you let him do it? I can already see the result though. No way! You can do it, right Kent? Well, I haven't said I'll do it yet. So, I ended up joining the women's baseball club as a temporary manager. So, here we have Kent Honda, who will join the club as a manager from today. Uh, huh? Why is a boy the manager? Moreover, why is it Kent, of all boys? Of course, this is expected. I don't stand out in class, and I'm not the friendly type. For such a dull guy, the role of a manager of the athletic club is too heavy. Well, well, I think everyone is just confused. Is that so? Hey, Mary, what's going on? Oh, Captain, hello. I think this guy is the right person to be the manager. I don't want to judge people by appearances, but can he work as a manager? The manager needs to communicate with the members as well. Yes, he should be okay. Why is Mary so confident? But, now that I think about it, this is the first time I'll help someone and I don't want to waste this opportunity. Well, I'll do my best as much as I can. Look, I'm sure Kent will change this baseball club. Well, if you say that much, why don't you give it your best? Yes. So, I became the manager of the women's baseball club. The manager's job is to create an environment where members can practice comfortably, since the morning training starts at 6 o'clock, I went to school at 5 o'clock and started various preparations. Unexpectedly, it's fun. At first, I couldn't communicate well with the members, and I wasn't used to getting up early, so it didn't go well. But after two months, the situation changed. Ah, I'm tired. Thank you for your hard work. Please, take some. Ah, thank 
you. Mmm, Kent's rice balls are delicious. You see? It's something different. I was completely accepted as a manager. At first they said I can't eat rice balls made by a dull guy, but they seemed to accept me as I continued to work. Kent, give me another cup of tea. Yes, here you go. Ah, uh, Kent works well, so he is really helpful. Really? Kent is super talented because he doesn't waste his movements and is attentive to every detail. If he was my husband, he would make me very happy. Uh, husband? Stop it! Don't make fun of Kent! Oh, the wife has come out. I'm scared. Let's leave here. Um... K Kent, you don't have to worry about anything. See, let's tidy up here before class starts. Uh, yeah. But what was that atmosphere just now? <sighs> I'm tired, but I can't complain because all the members are working harder. Huh. Who was that? Mary? Uh, oops. Kent, you found me. You didn't go home? <laughs> I wanted to catch up with my seniors as soon as possible. Besides, I was selected as a member on the bench in this weekend's practice game, so I got excited. But overworking is not good. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Mary. Blood. Oh, the blood blisters on my hand finally broke. Wait. It's great to work hard, but I'm worried you're trying too hard. <laughs> hey, thank you, Kent. All right, it's done. Hey, Kent, don't you regret it? Regret what? Having become a manager? No, not at all. Rather... I'm grateful to you, Mary. I never thought I could have a good time every day like this because I didn't have any talents. Oh, that's good. I was worried that I was a little too aggressive. Well, you sure were forceful. <laughs> uh, you thought so after all? But I'm an introvert, so someone like you who pulls me is just right. C can that means... Hey, Honda and Toyota, how long will you stay here? Go home now. Y y yes. yes. <laughs> Let's go home because the teacher is angry. Yeah, right. On the weekend, the day of the practice match came. As a manager, I'm writing the score table and building my own strategy with reference to past data. Okay, we're gonna get excited. Huh? Of course. It's the coach's job to direct the operation, but sometimes he asks me, the manager, and that's why I shouldn't stop thinking all the time. The match went to the bottom of the eighth inning with zero to zero. It seemed that stalemate would continue, but suddenly an accident occurred. <gasps> Watch out! Ugh! Coach? Uh, coach! Oh my gosh! What should I do, Kent? We have to take him to the medical office right away! The match was suspended, and the coach was taken to the medical office. He woke up immediately, but was given first aid and taken to the hospital. Honda, can I leave the rest to you? Huh? To me? Didn't you desperately write a score table and study it today? The members who have seen your efforts up close will surely respond. Okay, I'll do it. Ken, what is the coach's condition? He's conscious, but he will be examined at the hospital. Well, then the rest of the game? I will lead this team on behalf of the coach. We can certainly let you supervise the match, but what about the sign? Isn't it impossible to remember everything from now on? Don't worry, I remember everything. What? I not only have the signs, but also the data of the other party in my head. <laughs> That's encouraging. Okay, we'll follow Kent's instructions from now on. Okay. okay! Thus, the match resumed. And the situation is in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's our team's turn to attack, and the bases are loaded with two outs. The batting order is the middle reliever pitcher. It's a phase where we should send our pinch hitter. Mary, I'd like to ask you to be the pinch hitter. Huh? Me? Aren't the seniors more suitable than me? 
It's okay. I know your hard work. But... And that pitcher isn't good at left-handed batters. Your compact swing should be a good hit. Okay, I'll do my best. It's a good decision. Even the coach would have appointed Mary. Yes. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Huh? You don't have to worry about that. I know Mary's a hard worker. In the end, we won. The coach only seems to have suffered a minor injury, so I'm relieved. <laughs> Kent, the manager of the women's baseball club. Oh, hi, Varya. How are you doing? You're a gloomy guy, so you're scared and can't do anything? What are you talking about, Waria? We won the last game thanks to Ken. What? That's impossible. It's true. Ken played an important role as acting director. And he's also a perfect manager. Oh, Ken. I'd like to work out a strategy with you for the next game. Hey, wait. Why is Senior Reyna, who is called the number one slugger in high school, consulting with Kent? Of course, that's because Ken is excellent. All right, Ken, let's go. Senior Reyna, you don't have to stick to Kent, right? Well, I don't think you need to either. Uh, both of you, please calm down. What the hell is going on? Thus, I got a new place as a manager of a women's baseball club. Now, every day is very fulfilling. My name is Kent Honda. I'm a typical, ordinary, introverted college student. My age equals the number of years without a girlfriend. The reason why a guy like me, who has no relations with girls, is studying with a girl is... I'm going to take a break. Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh yes, please Mary. Six months ago, my father and her mother remarried, and we suddenly became step-siblings. I still feel strange to have a little sister as cute as her. Grace is late again. Mom never comes home before the day changes. Working a night shift must be tough. But your father is always on business trips, which seems even harder. Mary and I aren't entirely comfortable with each other yet, so our conversation is always innocuous like this. Since Mary and I became family, I wish we could be closer. Oh, is Miki not home yet? Oh, my sister? She's not home yet. I'm home, Ken! W welcome home, Miki! She is Miki, my big stepsister. As you can see, she's a beautiful lady, flashy and glamorous. And for some reason, she always clings to me. <sighs> I am so tired! Give a welcome home kiss to your big sister! Miki! I know he's your stepbrother, but still, what do you think you're doing? Aw, come on! Even family members kiss each other. They do it in movies a lot. <laughs> we don't do that in Japan. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted a little brother. That dream finally came true. Oh, I know. Ken, did you want to sleep with me tonight? What? Ricky! <laughs> Aww, Ken is blushing. So cute. I love you. Just like this, Miki gets close to me. Mary and Miki are the exact opposite in character and vibes. Good morning, Kent. Uh, good morning, Mary. Kent, would you like bacon or sausage with your scrambled egg? Uh, thank you. Either one is fine. I'll take the same one as you. Then I'll give you sausage. Mary always makes breakfast for everybody. She's kind and caring. At first, I thought she was too serious to become close. But now I think I'd be so happy if she were my wife. Okay, it's ready now. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Mary? What about my breakfast? It's in the frying pan, so help yourself. It's so cold. D did you need something, Mickey? I'll take a sip, okay? Hey, why don't you get your own coffee? Mm. I need to take a sip of coffee to wake up. You're too lazy. Oh, what are you talking about? You didn't like it when I shared a cup with Ken. Oh no, I didn't mean to share the cup. Let's get going, Kent. We'll be late for school. Man, my sister is so lazy. Yeah, I understand. But please calm down. Miki is probably working hard at her company. 
so she probably wants to relax at home. She was like that even before she started working. I, I see. First of all, you need to man up. Oh, me? Because you don't flat out refuse her, she thinks she's all that. <laughs> you might be right. But usually, you have a hard time getting along if somebody suddenly becomes your sibling at this age, if she's trying to become closer. I can't be hard on her even if she's forcing her way through. Actually, I want to be close to Kent. Oh, did you say something? No, nothing. We're at school now. Dang, that was horrible. It started raining all of a sudden. And not only that, the truck splashed muddy water on me. I need to take a bath now. Whoa! Miki! Wow, don't open the door so suddenly. You surprised me. I I'm sorry. Hmm. Were you expecting me in the bathtub? That's not what it is. This is an accident. Accident? Mm-hmm. You don't have to cover it. I know you're around that age. I'm serious. That's not what it was. Then what was it? Then, do you want to take a bath with your big sister now? What? what? I'm home. W welcome home. Kent, what are you doing in front of the bathroom? What is going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing is going on, really. Oh, we were just talking about taking a bath together. Kent is actually aggressive like that. Y you have no shame! Suit yourself! Oops, that was a misunderstanding. But I guess I went too far. Mary, could you listen? That was a misunderstanding. Today it started raining suddenly on my way home from school, and a truck splashed muddy water on me. So I tried to take a bath right when I got home, but Miki was there, and that's when you came home. So there's really nothing weird about the situation. Is that true? Yes, I swear. That was Miki joking, as usual. Miki and I had nothing weird going on. I understand, and I'm glad. You have siblings of the opposite gender and close in age living with you, so please be careful. Otherwise, You'll really be eaten by my sister. I I got it. It's true that I'm living with girls, so I must be careful. But why did she say she was glad? What's up with that? The next day, I was playing video games until late at night, so I slept in until close till noon. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, where's Mary? Oh, she left early. She said she wanted to study in the library. I see. Then, I guess I'll go grab something for breakfast. It's already time for lunch, though. Hey, if you're going to eat something, can you come shopping with me? Oh, sure. I don't mind. Okay, let's get ready and get going. So, Miki and I came to the nearby shopping center to shop. Oh, I want to look at cosmetics, so can you wait? Sure. Then I'll be hanging around here. Oh, cute accessories. If I remember correctly, Mary actually likes cute stuff. Oh, this is Mary's favorite anime character. I wonder if she'll like this if I give it to her. Did you buy something, Ken? Oops, I bought one for Mary, but nothing for Miki. This might not be good. Oh no, I was just looking. I see. Oh well, let's get to the next door then. M Miki? This is definitely too close, wouldn't you say? Her chest is touching my arm. That's something couples do. We're on a date, so who cares? What? On a date? Are we on a date? That's right. It's our first date. Oh, don't pull me so hard, please. Man, Miki is always forcing her way through. Hey, Kent? Did you have fun today? What? I'm asking you if you had fun spending time with me today. I guess, yeah, it was fun. Good. <sighs> I've been wondering what you thought of me. What do you mean? Man, you don't get the hint. 
I'm wondering if you like me or not. Oh, of course I like you. You're kind and one of the first siblings I've ever had. Oh, that's not what I meant. I'm asking if you like me as the opposite gender. Th that's You know we've spent so much time together, right? I realized I like you. I don't want you to be anybody else's, including Mary. I'd like to hear your feelings. I uh, I'm Mary? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing. I thought I saw Mary for a moment. I guess it was my imagination. After that, Miki suddenly had to go somewhere, so I came home alone. I didn't imagine Miki liked me. Now that she's told me that, I can't stay calm. I'm home. Welcome home. You've been out somewhere today? Yes. By yourself? Y yeah. Liar! You were out with my sister! Oh, why? W wait, Mary! Mary, wait! Why did you lie? The person I saw then was actually Mary. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Kent, do you like my sister? I don't dislike her, but it's not what you think it is. But you looked like you were having so much fun with my sister. You never smell like you like that. I'm not good at talking, so I can't put it into words very nicely. But I've actually been interested in you more. R really? But my feelings are moving toward Miki since she's been caring about me. Honestly, I'm not sure how I really feel. If I keep going on like this, it would be dishonest to both of you. I know this is quite selfish, but I need time to find my answer. Is that okay? I got it. Because you're honest about your feelings, I'll wait. Thank you. I found this when I went shopping with Miki today, since it was your favorite character. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you. I'll treasure this. After we got home, I explained the situation to Miki too. I see. If that's what Kent says, there's nothing I can do. No matter who gets chosen, don't hate me. Okay? I got it. But I think Kent will choose me. Okay! <laughs> first come, first serve. I, I can do it too. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down, you two. I'll have to choose one eventually. But I want to keep it like this for now. Thank you for watching again. It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!